Right, Thursday, November 19th. This is your Bring Me the News and Novak Weather Update brought to you by Grand Casino Malax and Hinkley. Again, thank you, Grand Casino, for sponsoring this what was a beautiful day and a beautiful forecast here. Uh, what, right now you're seeing the visible satellite loop, and uh, currently look at these clouds that were streaming over southern Minnesota. These were high clouds for the most part, middle and high clouds, but they did filter out some sunshine, especially right over the Twin Cities metro, hence the reason why temperatures were just a tad cooler right in the immediate Twin Cities metro. But where there was plenty of sunshine today, which was a good chunk of southern and eastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin, temperatures got or rose well into the 50s and some places even exceeded 60 degrees, especially over southeastern Minnesota and southwestern Wisconsin. Just a beautiful day with much lighter winds compared to yesterday. Um, all in all, this would be considered an A-plus in the uh, weather category, no doubt it for mid to late November. All right, sometimes when you're forecasting, you got to decide when model guidance is just not on the right track. And this is actually pretty interesting. This is the NAM 3K model guidance from last night, okay? This was its prediction for highs today over um, the upper Midwest and the northern plains. And take a look where I've got my cursor here and I've circled. That's the Twin Cities Metro. The NAM computer model guidance had temperatures at around 40 degrees by early this afternoon. And that would be about the high if you believe the NAM computer model guidance for today. Yes, it did have 50s down in southeastern Minnesota. But look at this again. Much of southern, eastern, central Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin... Temperatures were supposed to be in the upper 30s and lower 40s today, if you were to believe this model guidance. Instead, look at what we had. Temperatures well into the 50s. St. Cloud, I know I saw 55 today up in uh, St. Cloud. and Rochester, Minnesota, I know was up around 58 and 63 degrees in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Twin Cities Metro in the mid-50s. In other words, uh, some guidances last night were about 10 to 15 degrees off with their predicted high temperatures. So that just kind of goes to show you what we're up against in the weather industry when we're trying to forecast not only precipitation, but temperatures and cloud cover. Uh, by the way, look at the temperatures up in northern Minnesota today in the uh, upper 30s, mid to upper 30s, and lower 40s up there. No doubt there was a front here that separated warm air from cold air, from actually some little bit of Arctic air up in southern Canada. All right, here is the jet stream, and this is one of the reasons why there was a difference between air masses over Minnesota. Uh, northern Minnesota was north of a jet streak that was located right over central Minnesota, and of course southern and eastern Minnesota and Wisconsin was on the south side of that jet streak, and uh, yeah, a jet streak plays an important role in our weather, as does the jet stream, and watch what happens as we go through time. Now here's a jet stream for tomorrow, pretty much a zonal flow, so we can Expect uh, mild temperatures tomorrow, even into Saturday. However, as we get into late Saturday and early Sunday, I did want to focus on this buckle or what we call a trough. It's a small trough, not a very large one, that's going to be situated right over the northern plains and upper Midwest on Saturday evening and Sunday morning. So there's no doubt that we could have some precipitation over Minnesota and portions of Wisconsin on Saturday, but I'm not expecting a big storm. And then we focus our attention on Tuesday of next week, a much larger trough, a trough that digs deeper into the desert southwest and southern plains and then ejects northeast in the upper midwestern Great Lakes area. This is more of a signature for uh, a significant storm system as we again head into Tuesday and early Wednesday of next week. This is certainly something that needs to be watched here if in the upper midwest because uh, with, with a, a busy Thanksgiving travel week ahead or what might be considering our circumstances, uh, we certainly want to keep an eye on this uh, storm system for Tuesday. Uh, speaking of that, uh, this is the actual snow prediction from the European computer model guidance. Now, this is not for Tuesday. Okay, This is from uh, Saturday evening into Sunday morning. It doesn't show much, but it does show some accumulating snow from about the Brainerd Lakes area on north to near Bemidji, Minnesota, and then northeast into the Arrowhead. And yeah, maybe it may be a coating of snow here in southern Minnesota, but of course that would melt right away given the ground and subsurface temperatures. However, as we go into Tuesday, the European computer model guidance does show another storm system now that 
would be dumping some accumulating snow over extreme southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa. However, the big concern is that the GFS or American computer model guidance is showing a significant snowfall right over a good chunk of southern and eastern Minnesota and Wisconsin um, as we head into Tuesday. So that's certainly uh, worth watching. In fact, uh, my latest prediction for travel impact shows you I, I'm not very confident as of yet on who would be affected with uh, accumulating snow and ice on Tuesday. But I am thinking that a good portion of Minnesota, uh, portions of northern Iowa, and a large section of Wisconsin needs to keep an eye to the sky and, uh, of course, uh, watch computer model guidance as we get in to early next week. Uh, of course, Novak Weather and Bringing News will update you on that situation. Uh, the extended forecast now shows you that uh, there here was our beautiful day today. Now temperatures do settle back down to near or just a little bit above average uh, for the weekend and then we focus our attention on Tuesday here of next week with temperatures near or just above freezing and yes if the storm system tracks and develops the way as I'm anticipating it to uh, we could be looking at some accumulating snow and maybe even some ice over southern and eastern Minnesota and Wisconsin as we head into Tuesday and early Wednesday of next week. All right, that's your forecast. I appreciate you joining me this afternoon. Everybody have a great evening.